Let me tell you about this country, this democracy that is a great democracy, this country that is a great country, but it has a long way to go to fulfill its own values, a long way to go to fulfill its own espoused mission. That is, in this country, you can go to school and you can get to the highest level of education, which I attained a PhD. And a few weeks ago, I decided because I work hard every day, I work hard every day, I decided to take my good earned money and buy myself a nice car. So I'm in my car, in my good, hard-earned money car. And then comes a blue light. In my rearview mirror. And I watched an officer who does not know me come up to my window and say, uh, Mr., I need to see your license and registration. And I got ready to reach for it. And he pulled his gun out. And I said, oh, my God, I know how this ends. I know how this... <laughs> So I put my hands back and I said, do I have permission to do what you just asked me to do? And the cop said, yes, you can now move. So I moved to get my license and my registration and my nice car after my hard earned money. And I present him my uh, registration and my Ohio State ID. I just want him to know I'm educated. Oops, sorry, that's not my driver's license. <laughs> right? <laughs> They look alike, <laughs> right? He said, do you know, do you know why I stopped you? I said, no. He said, because you don't look old enough to drive this car. <laughs> Sounded like a compliment. But then I had to remind him in my head, not out loud, y'all, in my head that in this country, you, after you get a driver's license, you're free to drive any car. So long as you can afford it. Let me tell you something. When you are mistreated, deemed guilty before you are innocent, and, and oppressed by that form of unbridled, misused power and authority, it is infuriating. It is offensive. It is enraging. So what do we do to help the young black men? I'm going to say the number one thing, if you're going to teach them anything, teach them literacy, teach them numeracy, teach them vocabulary, teach them history, teach them political science. But listen, but listen, teach them how to control their rage. Don't deny the rage. It's there in the pinky toe and it climbs all over. But teach them how to control it. How do I control it? How do I channel it? How do I redirect it? Because the word rage means violently angry. But I love the second definition of the word rage. The second definition of the word rage is impassioned enthusiasm. You got to teach them that there's something inside. So strong. <laughs> Tell them, I know you can make it. I know, I know it's rough sometimes. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. It's unfair how police officers treat you, how some teachers treat you. But to control and redirect that rage is the first point. So we got to remember that while we're teaching them how to control their rage, giving them the language to have that conversation, they need words for that encounter with the police officer, that encounter with the neighbor. The reason why people fight is because words are not present for them to have the conversation. Give them the literacy school tools so they can have the conversation. But teach them rage is natural. Rage against this thing. Rage against inequality. But control it in the face of authority that can take your life. Because the end of the thing is we want them to live. And while they're doing that, we're going to deal with this legacy of racial inequality. We're going to deal with the police officers who are bad cops, because not all cops are bad cops. Just like all first year white teachers are not bad teachers. That's what you got to give young people is the ability to use their mind. Because if we can ever free their mind, the rest will follow. If we can free their mind. Their hearts will follow. If we can free their mind, their minds will follow. If we can free their mind, their feet will follow. All we've got to do is simply tell them that we will pursue freedom and justice for them.
But we got to pursue freedom and justice, not just for black people, but pursue freedom and justice for Latino folks. Pursue freedom and justice for Native American people. Pursue freedom and justice for gay people, for GLBT folks, for poor people, for rich people, for tall people, for short people, for poor people, for people who don't have anything at all, for first generation people. For welfare mothers, for everybody, freedom and justice for all. Thank you.